Every two years, sailors from around the world descend on Crosshaven on the southwest coast of Ireland. They could pick regattas in the UK or on the continent, but something about cork and the crack gives this event a warm pulling power. This year, at the sexier end of the spectrum, five TP-52s are racing in the Super Zero class. Even the name is called Super Zero. We'll have more on these machines later in the week. We're at the harbour course here at Court Week uh, with IRC3 and IRC4. There are eight IRC classes racing at Court Week. Here we've got nearly 40 boats. Most of them are production boats. There's a couple of little bandits in with them. And uh, these are really cruising boats. These aren't the kind of boats that you'll see zooming around at the America's Cup, but they're having so much fun here at Court Week, just like everybody else. Racing in class IRC4 is Paul and Deirdre Tingle's Beneteau 31.7 Alpaca. Crewed by family and friends, Paul and Deirdre are also members of the Royal Court Yacht Club that hosts this fantastic event. I walk to sail. <laughs> That's what I do, I walk to sail. So I'm sailing here since I was seven. So I'm now 47. So that's, what I, that's how much I enjoy it. I still do it. Ready to go? Anytime you want, John. Anytime you want. All club racers get into a bit of bother when it comes to spinnakers, and Alpaca is no exception. John, what's going on, boy? John? I need it now. I need it now. Okay. We can get it when it. When it. We can get it. The last time was a mistake. We have a good action. When we when we were in sync, because we're a good crew, we have it in sync. It's just the last time. Head and chain, head and chain. <laughs> it's not over yet. Paul and crew actually won their race by seven seconds on handicap. Great result by the Crosshaven sailors. All right, guys, well done, well done, well done, well done. Finally, here's a moment that UK sailor Nigel Goodhue and crew would rather not have recorded for posterity. Leading IRC Class 4 metres from the finish line off Cove, they hit the mud and ground to a halt. Unfortunately, they had to use their engine to move off and were obliged to retire. Check this bit of banter out. Ah well, there's three more days to crack this gig. Big wins are forecast. We'll have more soon.